Shalom Akas for Kamak Posh, Jim and Son, giving all praise to Jah Basham Yahushai Basham Rakal Kodash, the ones of the elders, the apostles of Jim and Son, that the brethren on the highways and barriers, you should treat all sincerely. Okay, just a quick, quick video, um, just a update with the climate, you know, with you know the, the global climate right now. You know, this, um, you know, lesson is going to be just speaking about basically according to scriptures. You know, America is gonna. You know, its allies, the allies of America, are gonna turn on, on America, man, to destroy it. Okay, when this World War Three, you know, comes towards its end. Okay, and um, you know, just bringing out articles, basically showing the showing the the moving, in perception of America and, you know. Uh, their allies, and you know, because you know, at the end of the day, America is causing a lot of issues in the world. Okay, bl blaming, you know, things and different peoples and stuff like that. But really, these other nations don't really have a problem with these other nations, man. But U.S. is making them have issues or causing issues between these different nations, man. You know, i.e. Russia, you know, Iran and so on. Okay, but it's, it's all going to backfire, man. They're going to realize that America is just, you know, it's, it's the problem. Okay, so, you know, just bringing up certain articles in here just to show you that um, that mindset is you know moving away from America you know really they're not really getting down with what America is doing man okay so here I'm gonna start with Russia because Russia is like the main boogeyman that America and, and, and Europe uses for things that are going on okay but Europe and a lot of these nations that don't have no problem really with dealing with Russia, man. Okay, so here with this uh, set of articles, right, it says, good day for Russia in Europe. Okay, they're, 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 the Russian film Gazprom is a reformed character. Okay, the European Commission has said, improving the climate for new pipelines to Europe. So they're going to allow them to, to build more gas pipelines through, through Europe, man. Okay. Okay, you, the, America is trying to press for tougher sanctions on Russia, but people want to do more and more business with Russia. Okay, so they're not really down with it, man, because they, they see, you know, they can benefit from being partners with Russia. Okay, but U.S. don't like that, obviously. You know, they got they got they got problems, man. All right, that's another one. I'm gonna get in another tab. Um, right, apparently, what day is it? 25th today. Okay, we see Russia, Europe, Russia, Europe, and China reportedly discussing new Iran nuclear deal. I'm guessing it's going to say. Okay, so you know, US has just recently pulled out of the deal. Okay, and people, you know, don't agree with that. Europe and you know, these other nations, they don't agree with, with America putting out the deal. So these other nations are looking to do a, a deal with Iran, man. Okay, do a different deal or, you know, hold the, the, the current deal that they got or whatever. Okay. So, you know, it shows you that America and, the, you know, his, their, his allies or their allies are on a, on a different page, man. Okay. She just tells you, man, has divided against itself, should not stand, man. And these are meant to be part of America's house. They're allies, they're friends, right? Well, they're going to lose all of them eventually. Okay? We got here, um, there was news in Germany. Uh, what was it? Was this right? No. Politics aside, work starts on Russia, Germany, gas pipeline. Okay, so they're dealing, they're dealing with the Germans. The Germans, they, they have a good relationship with, uh, with, Ger um, with Russia, man. Okay. Okay, but the U.S. wants to, you know, put pressure on Germany to, to you know, place sanctions on them and not do business with them and that. But Germany don't want to do that. Okay. This is Russia, Germany, business ties remain solid despite sanctions. So German firms continue investing in the Russian economy despite facing barriers from economic sanctions against Russia. Okay. They don't want to lay off that, man. Okay. 
<laughs> I will open this one up quickly. All right, if it's a reapproachment, well, whatever. All right, reapproachment with Russia is now a core policy objective for Germany. Okay, it says as Donald Trump shakes up the global order, Germany Chancellor Chancellor Angela Merkel is being pushed closer toward a more predictable partner in Moscow. Okay, so when President Vladimir Putin hosted Merkel in the back sea resort of Sochi on Friday, both leaders did their best to keep tensions in the background compared with a year ago when they clashed over Ukraine and Russia election meddling. Now they're in line in trying to shield business from US sanctions, working against the US, defend the Iran nuclear accord ditched by Trump and rebuffing American objections to a Russian gas pipeline to Germany. Okay, so, you know, they're working towards that, man, for more cooperation between the two, between each other. Okay. As I say, there also are points where we agree, which is good, considering all the issues on we, which we don't agree. Okay, because the problem is America, man. And they know it. So how EU leaders harden their stance against Trump, man. Europe is not with, with Trump, man. They're not with America, okay? They might be the spearhead of NATO, man, but the European nations are not really with Europe, man. And although they might fight with them for the time being, there's going to come a time where they're going to turn their backs on America, man, and they're going to destroy them. Okay, America is going to lose all its friends, man. You know, maybe bar Israel, but they're going to be destroyed too, <laughs> okay? But even Israel may, may send nukes, man, over to America, man. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see, man. But hey, America's going to lose all its friends in this war, man. Okay. So let's come out of that. Okay. This is uh, France, and, France and Russia. I have vowed to press coordination efforts in Syria. So they're going to work together. Okay. Um it says France and Macron have buried allegations of Russian building. They don't even care about it no more. That's not even important anymore. <laughs> okay, they want to move on. All right. So Putin trolls Macron over huge French investments in Russia because they he, want, he wants that money, man. They want them deals done. Okay, they want that good gas. Okay. Uh, Putin hails Russia France ties during meeting with Macron. Putin woos France, Macron with closer economic ties. They all they're all moving away from America, man. Slowly but surely, all these nations are, man. Okay, that's that's what's happening. See, France, Russia, and France talk nuclear energy partnership in third party. You know, uh, what's I got here? Right. Hmm. All right. So the EU sets set, sets course for U.S. clash with law blocking Iran sanctions. Okay, because Europe's not with that. Okay, America pulled out, but the EU is not with that, man. So it's going to cause issues and problems, man. Okay, he's going to cause a war. <laughs> okay, which is inevitable because the war's coming anyway. Okay, no matter what they do. Okay. The company face a tough choice after Trump pulls out of Iran. Okay, yeah, he, now, he, now he, he said he ain't going to meet up with... Uh, North Korea now, you know, hey man, it's just causing issues, man. Okay, but hey, let's get the scripture, man. I said this wasn't going to be a long one anyway, but um, I'm reading Obadiah 1 verse 1, right? It says here, the vision of Obadiah, thus says the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. 
Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Okay. Her being America, man. Okay, Edom. Okay, this is what it's representing right now. Otherwise known as Babylon in the scriptures, okay, and, and other things, right? It says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised, man. America's despised right now, man. It's a, it's been a, it's a pain in the ass for these other nations to deal with, man. Okay? So the pride of thine heart have deceived, have deceived thee. Hey, okay? America's are the most proud nation on the planet Earth because they're running shit, right? So thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that save in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground, okay? That, that boastful, prideful attitude that they have, right? So though they exalt thyself as the eagle, and though they set thy nest among the stars, then will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Okay, I'm going to jump down to verse 7, right? It says, that All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. Okay, all, the, the, all, those, all those that you're in league with, right? The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. Okay, all your allies, man. Okay. And prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread, you know, from them deals, you know, doing them deals, you're making money and benefiting off each other, right? Have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Why? Because the Most High has sent a spirit upon them, man. Okay, when it comes to the annihilation of America through the nuclear missiles that the Lord is sending, okay, they're not gonna they're not gonna feel pity. Okay, that spirit is gonna be put on them to launch their missiles and destroy America wholly, entirely. Okay, the angels, angels of the Lord are going to put a spirit upon them to do those things, man. There's going to be non understanding, there's not going to be negotiating, they're just going to do it. Okay, along with Russia and, and China and the like, they're all going to send their missiles over to America to destroy the, to, to destroy the land. Okay, and everybody in it, right? So that's, that's what we're heading towards, that's what you're seeing there slowly, you know, uh, materializing, man, manifesting itself. Okay, people moving away from America and then, you know, they're more signing with, with Russia and, you know, the other European nations, man. And they're going to look at Russia, uh, America as the as the problem child that needs to be, needs to be sorted out because they're out of control. Okay, and they're going to end up, you know, through the spirit of the Lord, shooting at America, man, destroying it. Okay, so like I said, that was just an insight into all that that's happening right now. Okay, um, and with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Okay, until the next video, shalom. Take care.